Hello Unity developers, in this video I'm going to show you the contents of the advanced gem shader package and how to use it. First of all, this shader and the whole package is related to gemstones and their related parts like opals, emeralds, diamonds. And it contains a set of shaders to simulate these fancy gemstones and here is some preview of the realistic gemstone shader and let's check it out and here we can see these shaders here and the sample materials let's let's take this example here you see here rainbow gemstone surface let's zoom in and here you can see the material here the parameters are very simple main texture main color is standard you know it from other materials and here you can see the inner renderer and the outer renderer the inner renderer renders the inside like I see here if I you see here the inside uh, when I change here the power you can set here a refraction cube map here the inner stuff here and of course the color and the reflection power see here the same is with the outer part see here the outside of the gemstone is rendered different than the inside and here you can also say set the rainbow map uh, other cube maps here set the color and reflection power and that's usually common in all gemstone related shaders here this is some main color of the light you see here the light influence the origin and when we look here the walls sample here, here you see a cube map when I deactivate this you see here the reflections disappear so Keep in mind that a reflection probe is needed for this type of shader. And also, you can see here the light influence. It influences the shader. See here the lighting on these parts. And it lightens up these gemstones. So, the next sample is the. We take the next. Sample here, this is these are normal gemstones. It's similar to the realistic gemstone but with some simple difference. It doesn't need here we have just for testing when we deactivate it, it stays reflective because they use fixed cube maps. Let's check something out. Let's check this here. Select one outside. Let's select this for example. Here you see rainbow shader. It's the same thing like the realistic gemstone. Main texture, main color, the inner renderer. You set here uh, the also the cube map with color and multiplier. You see here. But it uses this text, this cube map here as the, for the wall reflection and it does not influence any reflection from the cube map here you see here the same outer renderer you increase it and change it you see here the outer reflections and if we start if we hit play here and let's turn this off maximize on play I show you some other stuff here can see here you, you see here this stuff is moving here you can set it the rotate this does the rotation speed so you can make some gemstones which have some slight animation here for magic for magical games and another thing here is you have full control over what's going on here the appearance of this shader 
is fully controlled so let's for example you can also create here some other materials like these these the reflections of this gemstone are not white like it would be in real in real life uh, but they are black here so because I just set here the reflection texture usually this is how a common gemstone would look like but I made it different so it looks like looks it's somehow an inverted light gemstone such thing does not exist in real life but maybe in the future we never know so the next sample is a new shader it's some sim don't say if it's similar to the gemstone but now it has some very very odd properties here you can see some very strange materials here this is called an alexandrite it's a gemstone which has the properties of changing the color if the light has some certain color value let's turn this off here yeah this is the this is the a normal gemstone shader here a realistic one you have here a reflection probe turn it off it looks crappy and here you have the red light you see here there's the influence of the red light with the range you see here some influence here at this spot you see how the red light is here and what you can do here is like you have here these are the, the normal gemstone settings and here are the alexandrite settings here you have three different types of color the red blue and green color values and let's change it to one and now it starts to get influenced by red color values it means lights where the red color is stronger than the other colors here now we can change here the influence color like usually red is the standard number you expect a red light that the material glows red but these gemstones change their color when the value is different so we can change here the all properties here let's change it to back to blue and here we can set an influence texture so like it has a texture it has even special textures when it is exposed to this curtain light like here you can see another material here you see here these runes these, these icons these signs here these can be used to for some puzzle type of game where you have colored lights and you have some item which reveals hidden information when you expose it to curtain light values you can also set the inner influence of these alexandrite settings and the outer influence as it's a gemstone you can see here the circle the three color let's let's start this here you can see the influence of the color and how it, it changes the shape this is this is all one material it looks like different gemstones but it's one material under the three type of lights here and i hope you like it because this is the new the new gemstone from from the update and the next one i'm showing you is the the opal shader here you see some very very fancy stuff here just check out this this here here you see here at these patches here some refs are refractive structures and patches and 
here you have the shader. The, mat the first materials here are very simple. The standard materials, you have texture, diffuse color, normal map, bump strength, specular texture and specular color with, with shininess, you know, from the refraction probe. And here you have the opaque refraction. You can set the, this texture here from the inside of this, this material affected and also the color you know this is very is rainbowish and we set it to give it a blue color here you have set opalic map this is just a simple texture with this transparency and the transparency describes where these patches here you can also have some modifier parameters here, Opal Editor. The, the strength, you, you, you add some value to the alpha channel. This change, this describes how much the patches should influence the albedo map. You know, you know the albedo map is here the texture. And here you can describe the specular. Color, the specular influence, this means that these patches would, would change the specular texture here. This is some multiplicator, you can invert it here, you see here, inversion. I have to play around with these values, and here is some power value. In this power value, it multiplies the... the alpha channel with itself which means that spots with with, a, with high alpha channel value alpha value get stronger and weak spots get weaker so change it back to 7 and here you can this is some threshold a final multiplicator where this this alpha value is applied so all values above 0.24 will become patches here and everything below will just stay refractive. You see here that, that keep it very low so you have the refractions only at these patches here. This shader has two, two types. You have the normal and the the refractive one, if you change it to normal, you, it's a similar shader, just that there are no refractions here. You have only the reflection from the reflection probe, like when we increase the shininess, you see that this shader here is reflective, like the other one. And this is the opalic shader. And the last one we have is the metallic shader. Here you see some metallic spheres, like, I check this out, this is some gold material. You see here is no reflection probe. You know, when you want metallic substances, you usually make some standard material here and add a reflection probe and I can show it to you. And just increase the smoothness here. Uh, uh, the stunt the normal just increase the metallic but here you have no reflection probe so if you still want some metallic substance you can go here to your yeah, add all your shaders check go check out metallic and here you can set main texture main color a normal map with normal power and here you have the reflection color additive and the cube map and at last but not least you have here the rotation speed now when we start it and see it you see the rotation speed makes this metallic structure animated you can see it you can even make some special effects with this type of shaders this shader comes with two types the first type is the the opaque one you know and the second type is when you have a fence you have can set here an alpha cut off if you don't need cutoff, always take the the opaque one because you know opaque shaders are 
are not that expensive than transparent shaders. And I hope that uh, that you like this asset package. You have seen here all type of shaders you get from this package. And in the future, you know, there will be other gemstone shaders. Maybe if some, maybe we get some really odd stuff. So be be waiting for, uh, uh, expect some other shaders. And I hope you like it. See you later. Bye.